Hi, and welcome to a lesson on finding the midpoint of a line segment. Now, let's just, first of all, define what a line segment is. A line segment is just that, it's a, it's a segment of a line. So it's defined as being between two set points. So we might call these two points A and B. And so this line segment might be uh, the line segment AB. Usually we call it that. And today's lesson is going to be focusing on finding the midpoint, so the middle point of that line. So usually what happens is that we're given the coordinates of the points A and B. So first of all, the first set of X and Y coordinates, and then the second set of X and Y coordinates, like so. All right. And what happens is that we're trying to find the middle of those. Now, usually the middle means often the average of the two, okay? We can find the middle points by finding the average of the two. So instead of going all the way from x1 to x2, we're only gonna go halfway of that distance, okay? So I'm gonna actually give you the formula straight away today in that we're going to find the mid, uh, so the average of, first of all, the x coordinates. We do that by adding them up and dividing by how many there are, so there's two of them add them up and divide by two and the second one y1 plus y2 so take the y coordinates and find the average of those or the mean mean or average okay all right so with that in mind we're going to go and tackle a question in our first example today um so find the midpoint of the line joining the points three one and five nine i'm going to go and draw a quick set of axes uh, oops, the daisy. Start from the top. There we go. Um, so we've got this, and we've got I've done it again this way, and we've got um, three one. So across three, and up one might be somewhere, say there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've got three one, and then we might go across five nine. Might be up here. Let's say. Okay. And then let's put the line segments in. Now our job is to find the midpoint of the line segment. Let's put this line in. Okay, which is going to be, as we mentioned, the average of the coordinates. It's gonna take us to the middle of those coordinates, which is there, okay? So first of all, we've got this one, which is x1, y1. And secondly, we've got this one, which is the second round of x, y coordinates. Okay, so the midpoint here, we follow, it's going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Let's put those values in, so we've got 3 plus 5 divided by 2 for the first coordinate, and then 1 plus 9 divided by 2 for the second coordinate, what's that? 8 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2. Uh, which is four, five. Okay, now let's put that in and go check it and just check that it works out. Um, yeah, okay, so four, five, does that look reasonable? Let's go and have a look. So let's put in two right angle triangles. Okay, firstly, the original distance between the x coordinates, well, this is three and this is five. So all to all, the, the whole way across from three to five would be a distance of two. I'm only going halfway, so that would be four. That makes sense. Okay. And then going from one to nine, let's have a look. One up to nine. Okay. That's a distance of eight. Um, half that would be four, so that would be five. Yeah, that makes sense. But you can see that doing the midpoint using the mean, just finding the mean of the x coordinates and then the y coordinates is a much more methodical and simple way than having to sketch it out. Okay, so we don't always have to do this. You can if you like, but it's quite time consuming. If we just use the formula, we'll get there every time if we're careful. So four, five is our answer. Okay, hope that's nice and clear. Enjoy the work. <laughs> 